Hi, I'm John Kinney. This is our tree farm. My wife and I acquired the tree farm in 1986 and we uh, built a house here and we've lived here ever since. We've got a large diversity of trees, but we've always liked ash trees. About 10 years ago, we noticed the ash trees were beginning to die off. So at that point, we started looking for a program, something to help us. We looked to the Ohio Division of Forestry and other sources for information on what was happening to our ash trees. I'm Steve Sullivan, director of the Hefner Museum of Natural History at Miami University. We have an opportunity right now to partner with John Kinney on his property to try to understand how emerald ash borers are affecting the forests and specifically to release parasitoid wasps. Looks like we've got a lot of nectar feeding going on right now. The United States Department of Agriculture breeds parasitoid wasps to help kill the invasive emerald ash borer beetle. Today, they've sent us some live females. You can see tiny little fingernail clip sized things in here that are ready to be released in the environment to kill the invasive beetles. Here's a long dead ash tree. And the reason it's dead is emerald ash borer larva, the caterpillar stage, ate the phloem of this tree. The phloem is the essentially circulatory tissue that's just beneath the bark. It's where maple syrup comes from. If I pull this bark off, you can see the channels that are made by the emerald ash borer larva as they eat through the phloem. You can also see that the trails start off relatively narrow when the larva is small and they get bigger and bigger and bigger as the larva grows. And then eventually the larva will exit the tree in this D-shaped exit hole as an adult. Ooh, almost. I'm Alicia Singleton. I am a graduate student with Miami University. I'm part of Project Dragonfly, their advanced inquiry program. Um, and I am part of the parasitoid uh, wasp release. I'm here basically to learn more about um, biodiversity loss and the connection that we have with invasive species. And here you have a notoria <laughs> that is basically done. To date, we have lost millions of ash trees throughout the United States. This is devastating to our forests. It's hoped that by releasing these parasitoid wasps in forests like this near the university, we can establish a predator on emerald ash borers and thus save our native forests.